here 48 hours after running 600 miles <laughs> or, or addressing us guys. <laughs> oh, no, it's, uh, we needed a test. This is nice. Um, today we um, learned a lot and um, anytime you can get more time on this car and try and make it drive better, it's key. And uh, we've had a couple struggling weeks. Obviously we had a shot to win the 600 there at the end of the mm -hmm. race. and that pretty close I felt like um, but we weren't really that good and today I felt like we learned a lot and made it drive and better so uh, I always like coming to Michigan I've had fast cars here in the past and run well so we need to capitalize when we come here was it good that it was you know 80 you know 85 90 degrees today because it more, might be that way in August yeah it? I think so and um, you know I, I don't know what tire will be on when we come back we we're changing tires all day for Goodyear and, and they'll make a choice between a couple different compounds that we ran today and We'll bring that back, but um, like I said, I feel like we made our car better. That was nice. So obviously you got the mercy of Goodyear with the different tires, but is there anything you learned about the track today with this next gen car? Always learning. I think um, this car is, you learn something every time you get in it, especially I have been, and um, just trying to fit, get comfortable, you know, and feel like I'm driving it again. And um, I think we made some subtle changes today that made me feel like I was in control of the car instead of the car driving me. Mm, very nice. Austin, this year, you know, you're, you're on a, an incredible streak. I love the 11 years in a row with wins. I mean, that's got to be something really proud of because it's not easy out here. Um, but, I haven't had 11 years in a row with wins. I haven't. Had. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd I, like to have that. That'd Joey nice. had that. Joey had it. <laughs> yeah. But tell me about this year's this year's race. You guys have got. Made me feel good. There. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> Dawson. Hey, you guys have got um, 11 guys have already won. That's that's why 11 guys have already won this year, and there's still a lot of races to go. There's no guarantees that even one win's going to get you in anymore. Yeah. No, that's true. And um, you know. We've been pretty good in the points all year long and just getting beaten out by these guys that are getting the wins like you yeah. talked about. So we feel like our time's coming. We know that you need to win to get in, I feel like. And um, it always comes down to a couple points here and there, but wins are what matters. And if we get the car better and I'm more comfortable, I think we'll get us one. And you're on a bubble all the time, it seems like. <laughs> just living on the edge, man. It's uh, I've given up on trying to chase the points after last weekend and yep. that close to a win. and. You know, my sponsors, Johnny Morris, Bass Pro Shops, and they, they get more pumped up when you have nights like that. You know what I mean? And 6th to 15th is cool. It's good for points, obviously. But, you know, given the opportunities to win and put your car out front, that's what it's all about. And that was pretty cool. People talk about you have to start getting crazy to get a win here pretty soon. But you guys you can't try any harder, can you? <laughs> no, I mean, you saw me yeah. last uh, yeah, on Sunday night. Exactly. I mean, I tried as hard as I could. and. Um, there's there's nothing else out there but you know, you're giving it your best shot and, and really going for it and I mean the fans got to enjoy this I mean it's been some amazing finishes mm -hmm. this year yeah. and I thought Charlotte was a heck of a race and you look in years past people probably didn't think that was a good race and that was a absolute grind from start to finish the track's gotten rough it's hard on your body um, a lot of difficult things that you were maneuvering through that entire night so uh, that was a true testament and it just shows that why that race is a crown jewel so now that we're halfway through the regular season, what have you learned about how these tires respond to weather? Um, so, I, you know, we've really been pretty fortunate on the heat side of things, like not super hot, even the 600 being about 80 some degrees. We haven't got to the real heat and St. Louis is going to be hot this weekend and we'll see how everything reacts and, you know, you know, pit stops have been key and we've had some really good pit stops this year, our team, so I'm really proud of them. and. Um, and this car is it's we're all learning as we go and, and we're learning this tire and that small sidewall and people are pushing it i mean it, every time we come out somebody's <laughs> pushing it and blowing a tire anything surprise you out there today with the the track with the new car or new tires it's, it's same old michigan you know i thought that um a lot of rubber got laid down pretty fast actually but only three cars on the track it, you could see um that you know black groove kind of widen out and I think when we come back, I think we'll continue to move it up and, and probably move up the track in, in one and two and somewhat in three and four. But uh, yeah, I thought it was good. Well, Mark, did you think uh, Goodyear's tires would be really good for like, your future races or something reliable? Um, yeah, I think um, we've got a couple options that were better than what they brought today. Um, and I think they'll choose one of those. And I also think we brought one set that was really positive it was good and um they don't they don't have the capability to get it done by this race but for the future it might be something strong to run on mm. cool. right. thanks Austin. appreciate your time